Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. Right. Hey, man. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. Hello, everyone. Good to see you all here. So, I've come up uh, to talk a little bit about FOIP and VoIP. So it's a bit of the communication channels beyond just text chat, right? All right, so VoIP and VoIP are our systems in-game, VoIP, voice over internet protocol, and VoIP, which I termed way back in 2019, face over internet protocol. So VoIP gives us spatialized audio where you can hear and be heard within the universe, uh, whether you've got a helmet on, you've got a different filter, if you're far away, you can hear that they're far away, but we added face to that uh, way back in 2019. So it's cool because you can place video calls, uh, you can speak and see each other speak in the game, and you can take fun selfies like this. So again, I mentioned it's uh, back in 2019, so it's been in for a little while, but it hasn't really been updated so much uh, since then. So the cool part about it, and I really gotta mention, it's not a replacement for motion capture equipment. Uh, it's not a depth camera. It uses pretty much anybody's 2D-based web camera to track your face. So it, it can do great things, but it's got its limitations as well. What's kind of cool about it is that VoIP and VoIP are actually coupled. They're encoded and decoded together on the network super efficiently so that it's always in sync. And anybody that's worked on facial animation with audio data knows that sync is super important. So it's been used in expected ways and unexpected ways by the community. Let's have a look. This is Wallace Klim. Klim? What is it? Seems someone's on our case. One of our Nine Tails facilities was sacked last night. Total loss. The bunker was destroyed. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> this isn't what they said it would be. The subject has crossed the perimeter. Most people don't associate ladies like us with salvage, do they, Shell? That's right, Mel. In fact, we're the best in the old system at salvage, aren't we, Mel? That's right, Shell. And you look like you get it out of it. <laughs> I'll do it. You need a break. What? No. You're up there in what? Your underwear just drinking hooch or something I'm and just singing hooch. away? Wait, we have hooch? Hi, I'm Natronics, and you're watching Redline, your source for adventurous stories throughout the verse. The name's Brad. Agent Davina Brad. Excuse me, Captain. I'm Aaron Baxter. We topped off yet, Aaron Baxter? Just about, sir. Good. I don't want to spend another second on it. <laughs> Something we have in common, sir. Hey. Yeah. It was that day when I met Mr. President that my life changed for the better. Eat that apple. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. <laughs> you were never supposed to know any of this, Detective. You were supposed to die at Safe Haven. Rachel. Rachel's dead. Hey, man. I'm back again. You have any hats? Oh, dude, I read the camp. <laughs> 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 what are you looking at, sir? Get, go away. <laughs> So that was all content made by the community, and I love it. I love it. I think it's awesome, bugs and all. But there's probably some improvements that we can make for that. So one of the big ones that we've made is head rotation tracking. It's actually something we were already doing to do head tracking in first person, but we never could move the head around uh, it, on the actual character itself, which we've been able to do. Uh, some cool stuff like range of mo... Jared... Jared? Yeah, Sean? Can we just, uh, let's just do a fake video call. Can we do a fake video call? Oh, you know we can do a fake video call, Sean. All right, cool. So let's call one of my guys, Oliver Cook. He's been working on some new tracking updates. Hey, 
Hey, Sean, and a big hello to everybody at Sitcom. How's it going? Hey, Ollie. It's great to see you. Everyone's having a great time. I see you're using FOIP. Where are you? Drive. That's correct. I'm sat here in the comfort of my own home, talking to you via the power of FOIP and my webcam. We've been working on FOIP recently, and we're starting to see some improvements to the quality of the tracking in-game. That sounds awesome. Can you tell everyone what you've done to improve it? Well, we started off by looking at what we originally had, and we realized that some mouth poses were really difficult to pull. So we focused on improving the range of motion of the mouth, which now looks like this. Hopefully, you can see there's more of a one-to-one -one relationship with what's going on in my webcam. And this has helped some of those problematic poses we were seeing before, one of which being a closed-lipped smile, which was quite difficult to achieve previously. Hmm. We've also started to add in secondary motions that happen naturally when pulling combination face shapes, like squinting in the eyes when smiling or frowning. And when we combine these secondary motions with the wrinkle maps, it really goes to show just how much work has gone into these heads. Let's see how many wrinkle maps we can trigger, huh? Ah! Ah. And finally, one other thing we noticed was the tracking quality could be quite noisy in environments where the lighting is less than ideal. So to combat this, we've introduced tracking stabilization, which helps to reduce the amount of noise we get from the webcam. We're seeing positive results in low light conditions, but we're also seeing a small quality boost in optimal lighting conditions. The result is a more expressive and stable face, which is great for using in-game or making videos in the verse. And we still have a little ways to go with FOIP, but the future is bright for this feature, and we can't wait to see what wonderful things you use it for in the verse. So I see you in the character creator. Let's change how you look. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's change up my appearance here a little bit and see what we can make. The super cool thing about the character customizer is that it continues to track my face even when editing. And this is great if you want to see what Foyt will look like on your character before you commit to your appearance. Let's start off by changing my hairstyle, shall we? We have a bunch of cool hairstyles to pick from, and I used to have pretty long hair back in the day, so let's try and find something longer than I currently have. Uh, okay, that's wild. Uh, not quite what I'm looking for, but what else do we have? Uh, ah, dreadlocks, super cool. Not what I'm after, though. Let's see here. Uh, ah, there we go, much better. The fun thing here is with the head tracking, it's much easier to rotate around and quickly see what I'm going to look like. Let's stick with that for now. That looks good to me. We can do the same for anything else in the customizer, but I'm going to go ahead and remove my beard here, because I want to show you that FOIP still works when changing the structure and characteristics of my actual face. We have a lot of heads in our customizer, and I'm just going to cycle through a few of them here to show you that whatever we choose, we're still tracking, and we're good to go. We can even start to manipulate individual aspects of the face, with no detriment to the mapping onto the head. FOIP won't break when you combine these heads together. So if you just want to tweak a small aspect of your character, or take on the lightness of one of the heads included, you can do so, and test out exactly how the tracking is going to look based on your face movements in the webcam. You can now see I'm someone totally different, and we're having no troubles tracking. And if I don't like what I've picked, I can always just randomize here, which I think is a great way of not only showing the countless combinations of heads that we can make, but also that FOIP will continue to work with anything that we throw at it. I think I'm looking pretty good here, Sean. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, good. I think it's pretty unique to Star Citizen. Thanks a lot for showing it. Anytime. And I hope everybody has an awesome sit -down. See you later. Pretty cool. All right, that's great, Sean. But the reliability of our voice transmission has been a bit spotty, with many players reporting quality loss or even full audio loss. What are we doing to improve the overall our infrastructure behind VoIP and FOIP? Well, first of all, we've heard you. We know. We've tried it. And it sometimes works, and sometimes doesn't work. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating the voice service and a total overhaul of the voice server. 
Uh, this is actually important and we need to do this anyways uh, because we have to up update the voice infrastructure for the much larger shards that are coming. So this is going to improve reliability and the voice quality. So one of the biggest things that we're going to be doing for you guys is to make sure that you have feedback in the game for when this is working and when this is not working. When you're transmitting, when you're receiving, you, you really have to know. So whether that's picture in picture, whether that's an icon telling you you're transmitting, uh, these are all going to be things that we're adding as we go forward with these features. Cool. Good stuff. What? Am I done? Should we get Gabe back on? Yeah, let's get Gabe back in here. Hey. Okay, there's room for four. Yeah. There's a right? lot of people on stage now. It's a bit ben, crowded, right? Can we, crowded. can we kick Sean? Yeah, we can. I think we should kick Sean. Bye, Sean. Certainly do it. <laughs> Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. <laughs> <laughs>